subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hi, hello. Now we will see the boiler water, water testing and its procedures. So how to take the boiler water test and what are all the procedures we have to follow. We will see it now. So uh, in the boiler water test, there are six type of water boiler water testing we have to take it. So the first one is phenaphthalene alkalinity test and uh, total alkalinity test and chloride test and phosphate test and pH test and harness test. So totally six tests we will be carried out in the onboard. So we, now we will see the testing procedure of each test. First phenaphthalene test. Phenaphthalene alkalinity test. To conduct the phenaphthalene alkalinity test, we have to take the boiler water sample of 100 ml. So once we have taken the 100 ml of boiler water sample, we have to add the 10 drops of phenaphthalene. So once we have added the 10 drops of phenaphthalene, now the color will changing into the pink. So once the color is changing into the pink, now we have to add the sulfuric acid into that. Still the color will change into the varnish. So once the color is changing into the varnish, we have to stop of adding the sulfuric acid. Now the quantity of sulfuric acid, what we have added that will indicate the phenaphthalene alkalinity in the boiler water. So number of drops of sulfuric acid what we have added is multiplied by 10 so that will gives us the phenaphthalene alkalinity 150 ppm so that 150 ppm is the acceptable value by every surveyors so this is how we have to conduct the phenaphthalene alkalinity test so why we are conducting the phenaphthalene alkalinity test is to find out the hydroxide in the boiler water so this that is why we are conducting the phenaphthalene alkalinity test and second one is total alkalinity test now we will see the total alkalinity testing procedure how we will do it Sorry, to conduct the total alkalinity test we needed the phenaphthalene alkalinity sample already we have conducted the phenaphthalene alkalinity test so that now we are having the phenaphthalene alkalinity sample now what we have to do is we have to add the 10 drops of methyl orange into that so once we have added the 10 drops of methyl orange now the color will change into the orange color so now we have to add the sulfuric acid till that color is changing into the pink so once the color is changing into the pink we have to stop of adding the sulfuric acid now the quantity of sulfuric acid will give us the total alkalinity level in the boiler water how number of drops of sulfuric acid is multiplied by 10 the quantity what we have added is we have to take for calculation so number of drops of sulfuric acid is multiplied by 10 will gives us the total alkalinity level in the boiler water so that is 300 ppm parts per million that is accepted by every surveyors that value should be the 300 ppm so why we are conducting the total alkalinity test so this test is used to find out the hydroxide plus carbonate and bicarbonate in the boiler water so that is why we are conducting the total alkalinity test. So next the testing procedure. Next we will see the chloride test. Now we will see how to find out the chloride test. To find out the chloride test already we have done the phenaphthalene alkalinity test. Now we needed the phenaphthalene alkalinity sample. Now we are having the phenaphthalene alkalinity sample already. Now what we have to do is we have to add the 10 drops of potassium chromate in that now the color will change into the yellow color so once the color is changing into the yellow color now we have to add the silver nitrate AgNO3 we have to call so uh, while adding the silver nitrate the color will start to changing into the brick red so once the color is changing into the brick red we have to stop off adding the silver nitrate now the silver nitrate quantity will gives us the chloride level in the water. So the quantity of silver nitrate is multiplied by the 10. We will know that chloride present in the water. So that value should be less than 300 ppm. So this is how we have to find out the chloride test. Now we will see the phosphate test how to take. To find out the phosphate test we have to 
take a 25 ml of filtered boiler water sample and then we have to add the 25 ml of reagent molybdate so and then we have to add one small spoon of stannous chloride in that once we are collecting the boiler water sample reagent molybdate and stannous chloride all those things we have to stir it all now that beaker water will color color will start to change once the color is changed we will get a blue color now what we have to do is we have to use the color comparator to find out the phosphate value so with the help of the color comparator we will find the phosphate level which is there in the boiler water that value should be the 40 to 60 ppm now we will see the ph test how we have to conduct the ph test now we have to take the ph paper this is the basic method actually we have to take the ph paper and we have to dip it into the water now the color will start to change so once we the color is changed we have to check with the color comparator comparator will show us the how much ph value is present in the water actually the ph level has to be 10 to 11 so this is the acceptable value every by every surveyors so this is how we have to conduct the ph test fine next we will see the harness test see now harness test how to take to find out the harness test we have to take the boiler water sample in a beaker after that we have to add the standard soap solution in that beaker now we have to mix it properly we have to stir it the foam will be formed in that there will be less foam or more foam with that we will find out the hardness in the boiler water if the more foam is formed the less hardness in the boiler water presents if the less foam is formed the more hardness is present in the boiler water this is how we are finding the hardness test in onboard ship we have seen the all testing procedures now this is how the method we have to follow in onboard ship to find out the values of each testing thank you